I cannot go on like this. Like I literally feel like my fingers are gonna die and fall off. Probably being dramatic, but literally that's what I feel like. Where I scratched it raw, like get into it. I was gonna be too embarrassed to even show y'all, but it's true. Please, please, please be careful. I'm out here looking like this. That shit looks crazy. We gotta get this taken care of. I can barely bend my fingers cause they're so swollen. To come on and show y'all like what the hell is going on this is where i've been i can't film no content because i can't hold no phone i can't hold no light i can't hold no camera okay <laughs> What's up y'all welcome to today's vlog y'all so today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different y'all so i'm just gonna keep it real with y'all this vlog is not to be cute i know i look a mess sorry so i'm making this vlog because so the about a few weeks ago i went and got my nails done right so a few weeks ago i went and got my nails done typically i'm a press on girl y'all know that right so i don't really be pressed to go to the nail place but this time i just really wanted a manicure and also i just wanted to feel like i had treated myself so that was my little treat to myself y'all remember like my fingers were itching and i was like well that's awkward but i'm like well that's awkward but i'm like okay i just got my cuticles cut it could be all the products the alcohol and i also noticed that when they put my hand like under the uv ray like my hand was like burning again i get my nails done all the time so i really wasn't thinking into it that much um so whatever whatever so push come to shove so my hands were a little irritated let it go hit the nails on for a couple weeks now every single day since i got my nails done like my fingers would itch like real bad like mm -hmm. digging into my fingers literally itching everything i did would irritate them like all types of stuff like everything I did would just really irritate my fingers. So the other day I got up y'all, my fingers were so swollen. I took this nail off, but if y'all see my fingers, you see this? This is just dead skin on my fingers y'all from where I scratched it raw, like get into it. I was gonna be too embarrassed to even show y'all, but it's true. So like all my cuticles, the backs, the beds of my fingers, all of this is like peeling off, literally. I feel like my skin is coming off of my fingers. My fingers itch so bad. So then I just so happened to be watching, I think I was on TikTok or something, and the girl was saying how she just found out that she's allergic to acrylic. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I go to look at her pictures and y'all, a lot of what she is experiencing looks just like my fingers. So, so I'm currently on my way to the doctor because my fingers, like I cannot go on like this. Like I literally feel like my fingers are gonna die and fall off. Like I know I'm probably being dramatic, but literally that's what I feel like because that's what my hands feel like. So when y'all are going in these nail places, please make sure that you are going somewhere clean. Make sure they are cleaning their tools because outside of being allergic to acrylic, um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff with uh, nail places like different clusters of nail places in different cities where they're not like the health department has came in and had to come do some regulations on the nail places because they're not properly cleaning they're not properly you know swapping out their instruments and really pay attention to when you go get your nails done make sure you ask them to freshly clean all the tools that they'll use on you as well as for your pedicures when I started really investigating what was going on with my hands um, I'm literally on the way to the doctor right now when I started investigating what was going on with my hands, I saw it a lot with people's feet, right? Because a lot of them were not properly cleaning like the the tubs that you put your um, feet in. Um, a lot of them weren't doing like the detox. They would switch. They would switch out that little plastic thing, but wouldn't really detoxify the tub or whatever. So it was a lot of people like with diabetics that gotta you know have good feet care for their feet. And just other people with different health concerns that really, you know, have to get foot care. And they were literally getting to the point where their feet were getting so affected that they had to get them cut off. So I'm like, what in the world? I just feel like I really want a second opinion on this because my fingers are only getting worse. So it's so freaking, freaking stressful. It's just like the price of vanity. Like everything about getting your nails done tells you that, come on, baby. Come on. Anywho, everything about the process of getting your nails done kind of like already tells you it's probably not the most cleanest and healthiest thing to do but you know i'm one of the girls i love getting my nails done i love getting serviced and getting my treatments but y'all please 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 be careful because it's no joke it's no joke like i'm out here looking like this 
that shit looks crazy that shit looks crazy so and now it's not just on these two fingers it's went to this finger right there and on my thumb right there like so we got to get this taken care of like it hurts to write it hurts to like edit and film because i have to constantly this is the hand i write with this is the hand i do everything with it's my dominant hand and i cannot do nothing i could barely bend my fingers because they're so swollen so i'm about to go in this doctor's office and see what these people say and i'm gonna take y'all with me so <sighs> y'all stay tuned welcome back to the vlog so i'm not sure where my last vlog left off at i think i showed y'all a little bit of me at the doctor it is the next day um so i've been off of work the doctor actually gave me a couple days off of work so y'all let me tell y'all what happened like get ready for this story time okay so it turns out that i did have an allergic reaction to the acrylic not only did i have allergic reaction to the acrylic depending on we're not sure if it could have been their tools um i had a little bit of bacterial infection in my hand y'all it just sounds disgusting to say but oh my god when i tell you another nail place will never see me i will go back to my press ons and be happy and never have to worry about me no more because this ain't it that shit looks crazy look at that like skin just peeling away so it just feels terrible it hurts i can't really do anything um because like doing my hair putting product like so y'all about to see this style for like the next week two weeks okay but yeah so i got antibiotic they also gave me a really good ointment the medicine they gave me was the bomb okay because literally i only been taking it for a day and it already cleared up so much more than it was um so i know within the next week or two that it should be fine um but it could definitely be worse and then i got into the tiktok rabbit hole right so i'm like let me go see if other people have been experiencing this and y'all the stuff i seen made me realize that my shit ain't that bad mine ain't even that bad because it's people literally getting their fingers cut off the tips of their fingers cut off uh like literally like really fungus gangrene like bacterial infections where it go all the way up their arm like so i am just thankful that i went to the doctor i'm thankful that i nipped it in the bud i am mad at myself for waiting so long because again and like the nails are still on i would have to get them soaked off and i don't want to get any more chemical and then they don't really want me using a lot of tools and stuff to open anything up so they're almost about to fall off anyway i would have been going to get a fill-in so within the next week, they'll be off and I'm just going to let them naturally go off. I didn't already order my press ons. Okay. And even with that, careful with my glue. Like I can't use no glue that's too, too strong, but I'm going to put something on these nuts. Okay. That's the fact. But so ladies, just be careful because I didn't even really know that this was a thing. And I want you guys to make sure that you are taking care of yourselves in these nail places. You do have the right to ask them to use new and fresh tools on you. Make sure that little, that little thing that little uh cup that they keep where they keep putting the brush in i don't know if it's alcohol acetone but they keep putting it in putting it in and a lot of the times they do not change that be careful with that okay because like the doctor said even if it's alcohol in there if you're on your 70th client for the day and you ain't changed that out it's a cesspool that's where the bacteria came in at and true indeed the bacteria that's in your average nail salon hair salon whatever it may be like regular bacteria that are in those places and probably because i already was having allergic reaction and my skin was opened up because i'm gonna be honest when my hand went under that uv light and i brought it out my hand was really sensitive like it really started to itch but i just let it go i know just stupid i let it go but again it was something that ended up being serious um but yeah so just be careful um shout out to the press on girls if you are if you sell press ons or you got your little press on business y'all hit me up send me a message a dm an email whatever because i'm trying to holler at you because only thing i'm gonna be going to a nail place for is these eyebrows and these feet okay that's it okay so y'all be careful y'all know i'm gonna always keep it real and keep it super 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 transparent and i want to come on and show y'all like what the hell is going on this is where i've been i can't film no content because i can't hold no phone i can't hold no light i can't hold no camera okay so y'all stay tuned thank y'all so much for tuning in make sure y'all stay tuned for the next vlog may is my money may so i'm about to be dropping these vlogs so y'all stay tuned bye
Bye, guys.